an emotional day in a city that's been dubbed France's San Francisco. Yes, absolutely, a very emotional day indeed. Uh, there were uh, around 600 people uh, watching Vinso and Bruno say we oui to each other. And then uh, the marriage was actually a t totally standard procedure, exactly the same as what would have happened with a heterosexual couple, except that, of course, uh, the mayoress, uh, Hélène Mondrou, uh, gave a speech, a longer speech than she would have usually given. And then uh, the Vincent and Bruno uh, also addressed the crowd inside the building and then stepped out in front of uh, there again a few hundred people who had gathered in front of the town hall uh, hoping to see them and they actually went out on the balcony and said hello to them. There were no major problems. There was only a very small party of six people that came to the back of the building uh, right next to the television cameras and started uh, protesting. They were very quickly stopped by the police who started running after them uh, behind this building and actually arrested one of them and started running after the others. We don't know if they were eventually arrested, but that is very, it's a very minor disruption. What we can say is that indeed this wedding event went down extremely well and was a success. The gay marriage law has really split the country, hasn't it, James? Absolutely. There have been massive demonstrations. Uh, the last one was in Paris uh, last Sunday with at least 150,000 people. And this morning we were uh, out in Montpellier asking people what they thought. Um, in fact, the people who are against uh, the marriage or at least uh, against these laws are more against the fact that now, uh, indeed, uh, gay people who are married uh, under the law can now adopt children. That seems to be more of a difficulty to them uh, than the actual marriage marriage in itself uh, per se, uh, but uh, we'll have to see how the movement uh, carries on in the days and weeks to come. Indeed, uh, two of the main, uh, the main uh, protesting movements had said that they would not do anything today because they considered that this, this uh, wedding was a private affair and that they did not want to disrupt it, uh, but uh, they've, both movements have also said that they were going to carry on their struggle against this law. Thanks for that, James. James Andre reporting there from Montpellier. Some other world news now. The Swiss government says it will let banks find ways around the country's strict... Article 214. If wedding contracts do not cover all the contributions made by the two spouses, they will, their contributions will be weighed according to the respective Article 250. The spouses will live Article 371 is an ensemble of authority is a set of rights and obligations aimed at ensuring the well-being of the child. Until the child reaches his own age, it is up to the parents to protect them in their health as well as their morality. They must ensure their education and development with the framework of the respect they owe the child. The parents will associate the child to decisions concerning him according to his age and degree of maturity. Monsieur Bruno, Mr. Bruno, Rui, Ernest Albert Boileau, do you take Vincent Jean-Claude Bruno as your Mr. Vincent Jean-Claude André Jacques, do you take for to be your spouse, Mr. Oui. Well, yes, I do. Therefore, it is a great honour for me to tell you that you have now been united under law by your wedding. Francis, first gay couple to officially tie the knot. Francis, first gay 
marriage uh, following a law that was passed earlier on this month. Uh, that ceremony took place in Montpellier, that ceremony that we just broadcast to you uh, live. Vincent Ota and Bruno Boilo are now husband and husband and I have two gentlemen with me here in the newsroom with very different opinions on the issue of gay marriage and adoption. I have uh, Tom Craig, a member of an anti-AIDS association called ACT UP, you're also a gay rights activist, and Bruno Vercan from the Christian Democratic Party, who has been one of the main organisers of the anti-gay marriage and gay adoption, uh, anti-gay adoption movement. Uh, gentlemen, I'd like to have your reactions to that ceremony. First, you, Tom, how are you feeling after watching that live? Uh, kind of amazing. I never thought I would live to see the moment, especially uh, we've been fighting for this right for 15 years. Uh, I was having my doubts for the past eight months, according to all the anti-gay marriage demonstrations that I've seen and we've all heard about in the media that we've had to live through. I was beginning to, to doubt. Okay, and you, Bruno, how do you feel after watching that ceremony? Well, yeah, I was touched by the happiness of these, uh, these two people and I was um, also um, shocked by the fact that uh, the mayor of Montpellier uh, transformed this ceremony into a, an engaged uh, a pledge for uh, the so-called cause and, and, and of, of, of equality and they, they, uh, she said to them, this is your day, this is about uh, your love and there were plenty of cameras, uh, all, all the TVs around the world are there uh, I saw many mayors in the back, uh, so obviously it's not their wedding. It's it's a it's a cause that has been um, instrumentalized by uh, by by a lobby. Uh, so you feel that this has been politicized? Yeah, and, and at the same time, uh, you asked me a question of why we are against this uh, the, the 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 wedding for gay people. You 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 heard like me that the. Um, uh, uh, the mayor spoke about children. Huh? You will breed uh, the children all together. So, uh, but they cannot have children. Okay. They I'll... can adopt children. Yeah, but there are 25 um, heterosexual couples that are agreed uh, by uh, uh, by the, the relevant and competent administration, and there are only 2,500 children to. And uh, I heard also uh, on other TVs that. Uh, this uh, legalization will not deprive anyone from, um, from anything. The first thing people will be deprived of is those who want to adopt abroad will no, no longer be able to adopt in Russia, in Colombia, in many other well, countries. Well, there are still plenty of children to adopt in the world, but why is it that you are, per se, why are you against a, a same-sex couple adopting a child? Can you just explain that for our viewers? Because, um, well, are you born for a father and mother? Do you have a father and mother? Yes, I do. Okay, you do. So do I, and so uh, comes, uh, I guess. And w w we need a father and a mother. We are, we are the same, we are complementary. That's your opinion. We heard the mayor telling a story of, uh, I think, a little boy who, uh, whose mother yeah, is gay. Yeah, he yeah, said yeah, that he on, was pleased about this yeah. because he felt he could no longer, he was no longer afraid now that his mother would be accepted. No, it, and it, it, it's not my opinion. That's, that's no, 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 not my opinion. No, you tell it, us it, yours. No, it's not my opinion. If you and me, and Tom, uh, people of good faith, do not agree that a small human being is not born from a man and a woman, it's no, that's let's not, continue to discuss. That's that not the issue. The issue is whether or not mm. a child can be brought up by mm. a same-sex couple. Okay, so we, we all agree, so we all agree that a, 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 a human being is born from a man and a, and a woman. Okay? Then the question is, don't this person need the link to its bio, bi biological uh, ascent. And or well, the children who are adopted yes. don't have that link, yeah. do they? So, so people who will be adopted, the, uh, if, if they are not created, and we talk about uh, procreated medical assistance and, and surrogate mothers, because there are not enough people to be adopted, there are already 25,000 couples made of couples of men. Well, there are lots of children who need adopting around the world, but. Other is complications with yeah. adoptions. Yeah. Uh, uh, and these people who will be adopted, these children who will be adopted, will lose two times. They have lost their parents because of fa life events, uh, killed or uh, what's so accident, or and you penalize them because they are looking for uh, having back the image of a father and a mother. And and and, and it's our, our belief is that a man and a woman are not the same. You're a woman. There are a lot of families. Uh, 
uh, single parent families. Uh, do, you, do you disagree with single parent families as well? No, two, two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right. We, it, it, it's an accident of life. You don't, you, you don't create the situation. There are situations that are accidental. Okay, point and, taken. But, 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 but you, you, here in the future, we will create these situations. Okay, so let's get the reaction from you, Tom. What do you have to say to that argument? Well, first of all, it's rather shocking how the opposition is constantly battering on about children and babies, and we were talking about equal rights for us. Babies and stuff, I mean, that's Okay, but secondary. whilst we're on the subject, let's also talk about gay adoption. What are your feelings on that? Uh, I, I know, I know gay families have children, and the, the problem right now is that if one of the spouses dies, they get sick, uh, there's no legal support for those children in that family. And that's why marriage is very important, especially for the, fa the gay families that exist already today. There's thousands of them in France, but they have no legal status. So marriage will legalize the, the, the families that exist already and will also give us the option in the future, if we want to, to get married and have children if we want to. We don't have that right today. It's not right. We're not considered to be in the same level as heterosexual people, and that discrimination has to end. Now, this issue has polarised France. We've seen massive protests on both sides uh, in the lead up to the law actually being adopted. And the anti-gay marriage and gay adoption uh, protests continue. Bruno, you've been one of the organisers. We saw one of the uh, rallies, uh, the last rally on Sunday, turn violent. Are you going to continue protesting? But there are two questions. There is, are we going to continue protesting? And, and, and you qualified the end of the, of the rally uh, last Sunday weekend. Two separate topics. Of course, we will continue to protest. Uh, because the, the point is the one I mentioned earlier. They are, the, the natural uh, progression of, uh, of this law is uh, medically assisted procreation for women and uh, surrogate mothers for men. And this is really making of the human being, of the child, a merchandise. And people will not stop protesting. Uh, François Hollande... Uh, so your main objection really is gay couples having children, adopted children, or children with surrogate uh, our mothers. Main concern, uh, our main concern is the, is the defense of children. And Tom said it, uh, let's not care too much about children, let's care about equal, equal rights for adults. But why should it necessarily be a bad thing for a child to be brought up with two fathers or two mothers, rather than a mother and a father? Explain that. Because if you and me do not agree that men and women are not the same and bring two things different to a, to a child, I think it would be hard to agree that uh, maybe uh, revenues from companies should not grow 25% uh, per year that uh, 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 we shouldn't uh, spoil uh, water resources of the world. Uh, you know, if we are, do not agree on this basic e ethical fact, okay. we, we will never agree on anyone. Back to you in a moment, Bruno. We're going to cross back live to Montpellier to uh, listen to uh, one of uh, the newlyweds uh, speaking there. Les associations se sont battues, se sont sentées avec nous. Et le vrai symbole, c'est cette solidarité qui est née entre les personnes et que notre mariage soit possible aujourd'hui. C'est ça le vrai symbole. Le symbole, c'est l'amour qui a triomphé sur une part de haine. Je crois qu'il arrive plus beau que l'amour. Voilà, il faut se dans notre société. Il est suffisamment difficile. Alors je vous en prie, mais vous, et mais nous, et mon nous, parce que c'est important. Uh, in Montpellier, France's first married gay couple. So we've been talking about uh, this issue that polarised France. We'll bring you more in uh, just a short while here on France Manca in our next news bulletin in about 15 minutes time. Thank you very much to Tom Craig and to Bruno Verquin for participating. Please stay tuned to France 24. Thank you.